Hello again, this is Marxist, and I will be bringing you my rough guide to snake water. This is episode one. We'll be covering the mid fight here. Snake water mid fights, kind of unique. It's got a, a lot of the same rules apply, but I know some teams struggle with this. Snake water gets a lot of complaints, especially from soldier players, for being kind of difficult. So, in this video, I'll go over each player's roll and rollout on the mid fight itself, and then provide you with two basic strats, as well as a map uh, and a little bit of discussion about that map, uh, and also where it came from and where you can find others if you would like to sort of standardize your play. And here you've got the map made by Meb, uh, currently playing an invite uh, as a scout. Uh, he's been around for a while. He play, He's played a lot of games. Guy's a great video gamer. But he also made these maps that you can find on TFTV. I'll put a little link up to these so that if you want to look at them for other maps, you know, by all means, go ahead. The, he did a nice job, especially with the text. Better than what I've done in my other videos. So if I could do it again, I would use Meb's maps. Now, one thing I will talk about here, on the bottom left, you'll see blue main slash choke and blue flank slash saw room window room. I personally, and I know a lot of other teams, there's a little bit of, of a change there well, they're where they will call blue main or choke uh, the pantry because it connects to the kitchen and so you've kind of got your pantry kitchen set up and that that's actually considered flank whereas saw is considered choke. Uh, it's it's not a big deal there. It's just a little thing to keep in mind. But other than that, you know, everything else on here is is agreed upon. So very helpful. So to start here, we'll talk about how to get to mid, which is called the rollout. And I'll cover them in the order of demo, soldier, and scout. And also try to set up some clicky links for you. So uh, and I'll also generally make some conversation while I wait in case you're coming to this part of the video for the clicky links. As demo man, you have two basic rollouts, left and right, and there's also what I call the Cadus right rollout, which I'm not going to show in a demonstration video because I don't have any STVs uh, showing someone doing that anymore. I do have some demo reviews that I did that show it, uh, and I'll I'll put a link to that demo review below if you're really interested in it. It's not necessarily better in any way than what's typically done by demos in America. But if you're having trouble doing these, it's, a, it's an alternative rollout. This is an example of Banny doing the left-sided rollout. And this is Dummy doing a right-sided rollout uh, in the American style. Now we're going to talk about soldiers. You have one jump and one use the equalizer. I'll provide a video example for both. Uh, and a little bit of commentary uh, through those. And here's Blaze doing the jumps for Soldier on Snake Water. You can do some other jumps if you really want to. The main thing is that you keep your medic charging at the optimal rate, so below 275 health, and also close enough to be healed. This is an example of Try equalizing to mid. He has gunboats on, so he has to shoot himself a significantly higher number of times than normal. The reason I include this video is because this concept is kind of alien for the newest players, despite it being old hat for players that are acquainted with sixes. Talking about scout rollouts, I'm not going to provide a video because all you do is walk. You just walk to the right. Uh, in spawn and make sure that you've got a buff before you exit the last point 
and you can go out of saw room or from the top left. It really doesn't matter which you do. None is better than the other. Talking about Medicare, it's the same as generally every other map except with the exception of process and the the Koth maps and etc. You heal your demo to 260, wait for him to do his first big jump out of the door. Then you heal the soldier who's going to be jumping but has not yet jumped in any way uh, so that he gets a quick 300. And then you heal both your scouts as he flies over your head and then stay with the jumper until you meet your equalizing soldier somewhere in the saw room and then you're good to go. And I'll provide an example. This is an example of Shade doing the heal order slash medic rollout that I show talked about in the previous slide. Now I'll provide you with two basic mid strats to use on this point. And the first one we're going to go over is the aggressive strat. This is really popular and can be used in conjunction with double gunboats. So you'd have both your soldiers gunboat as you see in, in the example of what the tryhards did with try running gunboats despite his being the pocket. So I've color coded these and also provided talking points along the way. And I'll go over these starting with the demo who will arrive at mid first and then uh, the rest of the pieces sort of as they arrive. So firstly we've got the demo. Your first sticky is going to go at their saw room or on their slope. If when you get to mid however you got there if you don't see the demo chances are he's gone slope. Uh, or because even if he's gone saw and you've gone slope, you'll be probably be able to see him standing around on the point there. And you're going to shoot one to two stickies at him. Those one to two stickies are going to tell you how aggressive you can be for the rest of the mid. On this particular mid where your goal is to be aggressive, it doesn't really matter uh, if you get your two stickies off that well on him. But ideally, if those two stickies hit, you're going to be much more aggressive than you normally would be because of what's going to be happening here soon. So now we're into step one. Step one, you shoot your two stickies. If you hit the demo once or twice, press up. Don't let yourself get scared or zoned out. Once that's done, start trying to find their soldiers and hit them or scouts. Just anything that you can don't focus the demo after that he doesn't really matter especially if you hit him twice he's going to be so far removed from the fight due to the damage that he sustained that he's not really going to be an issue for you or your teammates so just look into getting rid of a scout or a soldier good place to shoot is to the upper right on this map uh where your red soldier is sitting and we'll talk about that later but on their side that's a good spot to shoot because typically there's going to be somebody either a scout or a soldier wanting to be up there and you'll get guaranteed damage and you don't even have to aim at them as long as your sticky placement is good enough then once everything else happens on the mid once your soldiers bomb you the scouts and the medic are just going to push forward across the point as demo man it's very important for you to stay on the middle point don't let yourself get backed up unless you're playing uh, with a different sort of mid strat but on this aggressive mid strat you should never touch the grass try and stay on the wooded part of the point as much as possible now i'll talk about the scouts blue scout is your more aggressive scout and he's got options here i show him as coming from the right uh, that doesn't necessarily have to be the case he could come from the left if you wanted to uh, I like him on the right. So what he'd do here is he'd run up the stairs, jump on the shack, jump on the thing beside the shack, and then jump up on the thing to the left. He would, from there, start pressuring either their scouts or their demo a little bit. If he gets hurt at all, so stage one. When you're at stage one, if you get hurt at all during that time, 
fall down and go to your medic and get healed. If it's really bad, like you're at 50, 40 health, then you probably want to run into saw room and get the health kit. So just run all the way into your own saw room and uh, get that health kit and come back. If you aren't contested up there or you manage to get a kill while you're up there, then step two is just falling down onto their grass and killing the first thing that you see. And that's essentially all that you do here as aggressive scout. The emphasis is to get up onto the upper right or the upper left, do a bit of shooting, get the demo to waste some of his stickies on you so that your soldiers come in without being hit by stickies. And then if you're hurt, back up to your medic. If you're not hurt, get ready to, to go roll some people with your scatter gun. The green scout here is your mama bear scout, whose job it is is to protect your demo. Because you're playing so aggressively on this mid, I like having the mama bear scout on the ground. Not every team does this strat. The reason I put the mama bear scout on the ground is because if someone's going to attack your demo, they're probably going to just run across the point at your demo. And you need your mama bear to tear the throat out of whatever is trying to do that to your demo. And that's step one. He essentially conceals himself behind the crate. If something pressures your demo and gets close to him, i.e. goes on the wood and tries to fight your demo, you need to just run at it until it's dead. Be extremely aggressive. Even, especially later on, if it's a bombing soldier and you're down here, you need to jump into the face of the bombing soldier. Physically block him from being able to hurt your demo. It's okay. You're a scout. You have more than 100 health. They can't possibly kill you with one rocket. Furthermore, your medic is right there. He can give you enough heals to go into saw room and get the health pack if you really need it. You may not. Uh, once that's done, after their jumps are over or and your demo is safe, you're going to get a little bit of a buff and then you're going to run across the point. And that's point two. You're just going to run across the point into their green, uh, their grassy area there. And that's more or less the mid for you. Uh... You can, uh, now I'm going to talk about soldiers, and you can change the positioning of your soldiers however you would like. You can put both your soldiers on the upper left. You can have some, one of your soldiers, the yellow soldier, go to the far right and conceal himself against the, the, the little bigger shack there on the side. Whatever really works for you, you should vary where you're coming from if you try to run this mid more than once. So put your soldiers in different places, put your scouts in different places, and learn what works for you. Because certain, particularly this applies to the demo, demos tend to focus certain things, and that's just a, a feature of them as a human being. Like they just, there are certain things that draw their attention more than others. And if you notice that, say, standing on top of the shack as pocket draws a lot of attention from their demo onto you, you maybe don't want to stand there anymore. Find somewhere else where he's not as keen to notice you. So anyhow, we'll talk about our roamer first, who's the red soldier in this case. You'll separate, and you'll go to the left while your medic comes out of saw. You'll wait on the left for however long you want. The main thing that you're waiting on is that there's not a scout going to be in your face when you try to jump on the left platform, your left platform. If there is, then just peek around the corner and shoot him and then do your jump and bomb onto their demo or whatever happens to be down there. When you are prepared to jump, so you've peeked, there's nothing standing on the left platform that's going to kill you immediately, you say, I'm jumping. And that keys in the other soldier who we're going to talk about now that they also need to jump. I've got here as yellow soldier as your pocket who may have gunboats for this. It doesn't necessarily need to have uh, a shotgun. Anyhow, when you hear the call from your roamer that he or she is jumping, then you need to get against the shack and use that to jump off of. And whereas your roamer is going to go up in the sky over the log, you're going to jump across the point with a low jump and just fly underneath the log. It's important that both of you don't go at the same trajectory 
Because what's going to happen is your roamer is going to jump slightly sooner than you because maybe you're reloading rockets or whatever. And he jumps and you're going to be like a second or two behind. And they're going to be looking up in the sky at your roamer and you're going to come in relatively undetected and do big, big damage, which is, is what you need. Uh, and then that's your point one. You're just going to stand there, spam one rocket at a time. Make sure if you're going to spam rockets that you don't spam so many rockets that you don't have ammo to jump and then shoot at things in your jump. What I like to do for this is you spam one rocket and reload a rocket, spam a rocket, reload a rocket, because you're just waiting for your roamer to call for the opening. If something happens to your roamer where he or she doesn't want to jump, then you need to be the initiator and jump under and call for your roamer to jump over. Your roles are essentially interchangeable here. And ideally, you'll survive long enough for your medic to catch up to you and, and get you enough health to leave or back off uh but you'll probably end up dying a lot here with this mid and that more or less surmises uh the mid i'll talk a bit about what the medic does as med your first heal target is going to be the demo and then you're gonna try and get your pocket up a little bit if he's taken damage so that he can jump with reasonably good health then you're going to heal the scouts your aggressive scout, if he got hurt, should be coming to you about now. And your passive scout, the green scout, will already be right there for you to heal. And then you're pretty much just going to heal demos and scouts the rest of the time. Uh, and run across the point. Now we're going to talk about the second mid strat that I'm going to give you here. And this is actually the direct counter to the previous mid that I gave you. So if you're going to run the aggressive mid and you notice this happening, don't run the aggressive mid because chances are you're going to lose and die. And uh, this is the passive strat. Essentially what you're doing here, the basis of this mid, is that you're just sitting back waiting for them to bomb into you. So you're guessing that they're going to do the aggressive strat. Uh, or some variation where someone at least will bomb you very early and that's that's not good for you if you also are having trouble dealing with those bombers so what you do here is you just wait on them to bomb you once the bomber comes you kill him and then you do your your regular mid so you get aggressive and jump on him and all that uh but you're essentially waiting for them to bomb you if their bomb never comes because they're also running a passive mid then you pretty much just have to tank heal your demo and hope that your spam can get you a, a kill somewhere or make somebody run away. And essentially at that point, whoever, whichever team has someone die first loses the mid and you should pull your medic out. But we're going to talk about the classes just as I did last time uh, in order. So first off, we're going to talk about the demo. You're going to arrive to mid having gone left. Uh, you can go saw room here, but it's a little bit riskier because it puts you closer to the point and you want to be kind of far back. Uh, you'll spam some sticks around, but if anything, a defensive trap might not be a bad idea here. If you're, if you notice that the other team has no other strat other than bomb both their soldiers at you, setting up a defensive trap can work. Uh, it penalizes you if they end up not jumping because then you, you've done absolutely nothing so far this mid. So again, maybe one sticky at their demo, see if maybe you can get really lucky and back him up, and then just try and shoot stickies into the sky and keep scouts pushed off of the platforms and uh, a jumper out of the sky. Once the, the If the kill goes down for your team, then you're going to push to the point just as the other mid, and then you're going to hold position on the point uh, until they leave. And that's essentially demo uh, in the passive strat. Just make sure you stay well back because in general, bombing soldiers are coming for you. And if you're too close, the rest of your team's not going to be able to pounce on them quickly enough. As the yellow scout, you pretty much just chill out on the upper left. Uh, you can have your other scout waiting somewhere else on the left, the green scout. But that's not necessarily essential. But you do want to have one scout on the upper left. 
And all he's doing there is waiting for someone to jump. Once the jumper goes across, you just get down off the left and run at the thing that jumped you and kill it. If your team's really good, someone will call that that person is jumping so that your scout can come out of his hiding spot from the back left and intercept them in the air, at which point their bomb is completely screwed and they probably took a meat shot and they're going to hit the ground pretty hard and so on and so forth. Once that's done, get a little buff and continue on with your life. Uh, if the jump never comes, then wait for your demo to get in a good spam position and then try and poke over onto their shack if you can get there without getting killed and try and get a pick that way. As the other scout, generally you're going to want to get on top of the shack and then go to the right. There, you're just going to wait and you're going to do the same thing that the other scout does. You're just hiding there on the right. If anything shoots at you or tries to focus you, you can go hide somewhere or jump around to try to avoid the damage. And you're just waiting for them to jump you. Shoot the jumper in the air if you can. If it's called early, maybe hop over to the shack and get ready to shoot that guy out of the sky. Get in his face about it. Do not let him get the shots that he wants on your demo and med. Kill him quickly, get healed, push across the point. Generally, if they're sitting back waiting to see what happens, then you can just run up on the shack again and then run over the top because scouts on high ground are pretty good. That may not happen, but eventually your goal is to get buffed and go across. Once you've, once you've got your kill, you're just going to run across the point. Uh, going upper is preferable for that, but if you can't, you can't. It's not, that, it's not the be-all, end-all. The main thing, the reason going upper a scout is nice is if they still have a soldier and they see what's happening, they may try to suicide that soldier and some other people for your medic so that they could re-push mid later and get their medic out. Uh, and y you're good at preventing that that way. But if you can't get on upper or it's, it's going to take too long or there's really nothing up there to worry about, then just run across the point. As soldiers, you're going to have your pocket come out of the left and sit there and wait. Uh, you'll do one rocket jump up top and you're just waiting as soon as a jumper comes you're gonna fall down to the ground and shoot it in the face with a rocket and then get your buff and either walk across the point or jump if a bomber never comes then your number two is you're just gonna walk out onto the left platform and spam down on them uh, as part of your goal as getting the first pick and thus winning mid uh, your medic can heal you from up there uh, as well because he'll have also come out left so it just works itself out you could also have your now we're going to talk about orange which will be for this uh, particular slide the roamer you can have your roamer come out of saw and jump up top onto the top right and hide against the wall and then once the pick goes down against the other team then he just bombs them like he normally would or he can drop down and walk across the point whatever suits you best generally it's better to have your roamer jumping or doing something uh he could also try and go into the kitchen and cut them off uh in the pantry or choke if you're using meb's calls uh and try and cut them off there and pick the medic if they've pulled their medic so that can work as well. You're not really going to get healed at any point, so try and avoid drawing attention to yourself. You could also jump on top of the platform and spam down at them uh, if you're nervous about jumping in. But ideally, your demo, if nobody jumps and there's no one to clean up, uh, ideally your demo will call that he got good damage on someone and you'll bomb into that person to get them to be the first kill. Uh, if that doesn't come, then you're pretty much just waiting for something to happen. And then lastly is med. It's very important for you to protect yourself here. So you're playing way in the back with your demo. You can also heal the scout and the soldier that's up there to the top left. And when the bomber comes, they're going to shoot at you and or the demo. Mostly, Most likely the demo, but they may come after you, so you need to be careful because you can't be that first death. That's It's very important that you're not. So be careful. 
you're playing passively don't get too aggressive with your heals you're just waiting for that guy to jump on you you're essentially bait for your team uh, and they're waiting for them to jump you so that everyone can pounce on them and kill them and then you continue on with your lives and push across the point ideally you'll end up moving towards the point after that first kill goes down and you'll have scouts and soldiers in your demo to heal and it's essentially a lot like the aggressive mid at that point assuming that you're not dead and that's my rough guide to fighting snake water mid the how to push last video is already up so we'll be doing how to defend snake water uh, in the next